Hey everyone, you didn't really think I was staying away from this game for long, did you? Welcome back to Demon's Souls once again. And welcome to my first Demon's Souls challenge run. I don't remember if I've actually done any other challenge runs. I'm sure I have, but this is just adding to the growing list. Today, in this playthrough, I'm going to be trying to complete Demon's Souls entirely using magic spells as my offense. This should be an interesting one. I mean, we all know how magic is in this game. It's kind of busted, but in terms of just the dynamics of using magic spells only, it should be interesting and it should bring quite a few challenges. Now you may have noticed at the start there were some missing enemies. Uh, that's because I started recording this video and I forgot to turn my mic up, so I had to, you know, backtrack a little bit and apparently in this tutorial enemies stay dead, so can't really do much about that, um, but that's that's the reason. Obviously I'm starting out as the mage. Uh, there are two classes in this game that start off with magic. One is of course the mage, the other one is the infamous royalty. I decided to stay away from the royalty because Soul Arrow is just a straight up cheating spell. Uh, that's number one. Second of all, they start out with an item that uh, actually slowly refills your MP. And I feel like for the purposes of this challenge run, that's kind of cheating, even if it only fills up your HP slight, I mean MP slightly. No, we're going with the classic mage who starts off with two spells, fireball and the absolutely god-awful water whale. This thing is such a piece of shit. Uh, it's basically anime sweat. You saw that? It's disgusting. Um, now you're sweating like a true gamer girl. Um, and it protects you against fire. Sure, you know, I'm clowning on this spell a little bit. It does have its limited uses, but... Aside from bottling it and selling it on OnlyFans, uh, those uses are very, very limited. Shit, this doesn't refill. God damn it. Okay, well, problem numero uno right here. I really thought that this would refill your MP. I haven't actually played any magic class in this game so far, so bear with me on here. Um, there are going to be a few hiccups, but it's something we just gotta tackle. And aside from the long introductions, I will mention that this playthrough is going to serve like go similar, similarly to my Sekiro playthrough, in that I'm going to be cutting out the boring bits. Um, you know, just to make the playthroughs a little bit more dynamic. I mean, the previous Demon Souls playthrough, I wanted to like experience the game and have you experience the game as a full. But there were a lot of quiet sections. I mean, obviously, this is a Souls game. There's always going to be downtime. So for this playthrough, the purposes of this playthrough, I'm going to get rid of that downtime. And man, is this going to be difficult or what? Shit. Okay, let's just give an introduction to the character. Uh, I don't know whether I did an okay job or not with this character. I feel like I did. Uh, obviously we are a magician, low vitality, high intelligence, low everything else but high magic. Um, it's about all you can say for this class. Fireball, I'd say, is a little bit worse of a spell in this game than in the other Souls games. Uh, it basically costs more than Soul Arrow, does only slightly more damage and takes longer to cast, so... Overall, I would say it's not good. The idea with Fireball in the other Souls games, of course, is that it has AoE on it. However, as far as I know, in this game, Fireball does not have AoE on it. So, you know, we won't really have any other offense for a while, but believe me, I am getting rid of this shit as soon as I have a chance to do so. It has, again, like pretty high MP costs as well. Okay, cool. So this is going to be Vanguard attempt numero dos. Let's try one of these bright waters. This is the starting gift I picked. And apparently this shit is supposed to like recover MP over time. 
Now, whether it's more akin to like an Elizabeth mushroom type deal or more akin to like regeneration, I do not know. I'm going to pop one and we'll see what happens. We have only fucking four fresh spices. That's not good. Damn, could have at least hit his toes. Okay, so it does recover a decent chunk actually. Okay, we're going to start spamming here. We're gonna start spamming because that shit is... Oh, fuck. I swear to you they made this shit more difficult. Uh, I'm not even lying. God damn it. Lock on, please. Cooperate. Am I online? God damn it. Okay, I do not want to be online. Heal, bitch. He's gonna one-shot me. Fuck. I swear to you, they made that attack faster. I'm not even, like, DSPing this shit. God. Ugh. I really thought, damn, I thought I had, like, Street Fighter V levels of spacing right there, and I was out of range, and I fucking wasn't. Well, that was a waste. That was a little bit of a waste, because we apparently used up a very good item. I'm not sure you can buy Bright Waters. Maybe you can. Hopefully you can, because that shit seems good. Yeah, that wasn't exactly the best decision there. And I just realized it only leads to upgrade materials, which are going to be 100% useless during this playthrough. Alright, cool. Nexus time. Um, let's go talk to the blue emo here. Because why not? Maybe this character didn't turn out as well as I thought. No, it's, it's decent. Demon Soul standards, you know. By the way, shout out to the floating shield. I just saw that. Still not fixed, apparently. Thanks, Blue Emo. Glad to know you got your back. Got our back, I should say. Sure, he's got his back. Cool. I'm just gonna check in with the guy. Uh, I wanna see how much Soul Arrow costs. And... Shit. He doesn't spawn? You gotta clear Boletaria. Don't you? I bet the Miracle Trainer is not here either, right? Yeah, he's not. Fuck. Okay. Well, that's something I completely forgot. Not that I'd be able to buy Soul Arrow. Uh, Umbasa girl is here. Uh, fuck. Okay. Well, that's going to make Boletaria 1-1 a lot more interesting. A lot more interesting. Okay, now we're friends with Stockpile Thomas. Let's make friends with this guy as well, who we're standing uncomfortably close to. That's like restraining order type distance. Uh, I'm not even gonna need this guy aside from like repairing. Oh. Oh. Good to know. He sells fresh spice. That's going to be very, very handy. Well, we might as well go. Hey everyone, I'm using the oldest YouTube tactic in the book which is to have a cute animal in frame when you're begging for something. I would just like to ask you and really encourage you to like and comment on this video, as well as subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications. In terms of the YouTube algorithm, it is the thing that helps out most. I really appreciate it and it really helps push the video further and get my channel out there. So if you want to help out Peretz right here and you want him to have his monthly lunch and dinner, like, comment, and subscribe. Anyways, let's get back to the video. Cool, Boletaria 1-1. One, one. Uh, I'm not sure this area is going to be... very, like, easy. Because, see, the problem is, with attacking enemies on limited resources, is that the absolute worst thing is weak massed enemies. And Boletaria 1-1 is all about weak mass, weak mass hollows. So this could be un problemo here. 
because well maybe I don't have to fight these hollows. There's a shit ton of them. Depends on their like aggro ranges, really. Uh, I'm gonna try. Yeah, I'm gonna have to avoid like fighting them, or fighting as many as I. Yes, go, come on, fall off, bitch. Come on, you know you want to fall off. Okay, I'll just kick him in. Fuck. Come on. Uh oh. Houston, we have a problem. Okay, come on. Kicking them in might be the solution here. God damn it, this doesn't have a kick, does it? I can already tell. Because unless I'm pressing the button... No, I'm not. It doesn't have a kick. Well, that is... Quite spicy. That's quite spicy. To say the least. Now I really gotta like sprint past these motherfuckers because... Like, look at my MP. We ain't doing too hot. Especially since you have, like, actual enemies here too. Go, 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 go. Nice. One thing I haven't decided on is how I'm going to handle items. In the spirit of the challenge run, I would ignore offensive items as well. As in, like, not use them. Uh, oh, you're still following me. God damn. Determined as hell. Yeah, I think I decided I'm not going to use offensive items, maybe outside of, like, a few circumstances. I don't think there is any section of the game where it's necessary to use offensive items. So, we should be okay. God, is this stupid, what I'm doing? I don't know. I guess we'll find out in a little bit. We sure as hell are running out of MP very quickly. Come on. Oh, come on. Perry. There we go. Do it. Oh, fucking hell. How the hell did he... This guy is... G no, 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 no. Ah, oh, no, 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 no. This is all falling apart. This is falling apart very quickly. Speedrun strats here. Fireball this asshole. I know how I'm going to do this, by the way. This area. Uh, I'm gonna have to like warp back to the Nexus almost constantly. Because this area has a shit ton of shortcuts. And I think what we'll have to do is... Unlock all of the shortcuts and then just pop back to the Nexus whenever we need to. Because as far as I remember, the Nexus does refill your MP. It refills MP and HP. So we should be... Oh, god damn. We should be okay on that front. Even though, to be honest, we ain't doing too hot right now. That's like the understatement of the century. Yeah, let's just quickly... Okay, how the fuck am I gonna do this? Is it possible to free aim in this game? I mean, it's sort of it. Actually, yeah. You can sort of free aim. I mean, it's not easy. I wonder if you can use the... ho <laughs> Okay. Okay, I see how you're playing game. I really need the cling ring because the amount of HP we have is god awful to say the least. Okay, pick these up and pick these up. Alright, let's get back to the Nexus ASAP. Alright, let's go ahead and give him the Jade Hair Ornament, which is going to get us the Ring of Herculean Strength. It's not going to be useful. I don't ever intend to overburden myself, so there's that. And the other order of business is 
fresh spice. Cool, that's gonna hold us over for a tiny, tiny bit. Okay, so I cleaned up my inventory a little bit and I realized that we actually picked up H spice as well from somewhere, two of them. I'm gonna save that shit for like, probably phalanx. Cause I think, yeah, I think what we're gonna do is, not that, is try to avoid as many enemies as we can. Get the fuck out of here. Whenever in doubt, just roll into them and they'll politely get out of the way. That's just how they are. These hollows are nice in reality, you know. You don't even have to worry about them. See, but it's the thing that's always like a trap is if I don't kill enemies, I don't get souls, which means I'm not going to be able to purchase more fresh spice. Cool. This is going to be cool. Glad I decided to go for this challenge. I'm only kidding. Get parried. And you don't even die from a single parry. Of course, magic doesn't have reposts, which uh, that would be cool as shit. Uh, that's what I want implemented for Elden Ring. Screw all the other things, horse mechanics, who cares? I want magic reposts. Thieves Ring, eh. You don't have anything better. It's pretty much one of the best rings in the game. What up, Ostrava? <sighs> Fan of the Draglings, again? We were just here like a couple of weeks ago. I think what we can do is... I mean, obviously we can do this. It's not the most efficient. You know what? Why don't you fend off the draglings yourself? See, he can do it. Oh, how the tables have turned. See, Ostrava, that's not very difficult, is it? You have a sword, you have a shield. You ain't that much of a bitch. Um, I have no idea what the hell you're... Oh, shit. He's gonna get himself... God damn, he's gonna get himself killed. How much life did he lose from that? What an idiot. He just kept walking into the fire. Jesus. Okay, we gotta make sure this guy doesn't like off himself the first time we meet him. And he still gives you the brass telescope. I think he's simping for us for sure. He has the simp eyes from behind the... Okay, I really gotta be, like, watching him. Come on, Ostrava. Oh, man. Okay, take care of this knight before he gets himself killed. And he also goes into the side area, doesn't he? Yeah, this is not good. He's coming in here. <sighs> Ostrava, man. A lot of this run is going to be spent babying him. He doesn't go down there, does he? Because if I remember correctly, we only have uh, upgrade materials, like weapon upgrade materials there. Hey, hey, you killed something. GG's. Okay, this is as far as he goes. Thank fuck for that. Alright, we gotta hit up the Nexus. Luckily, there is another shortcut here. Which we're going to be we're going to be using. Yeah, this should lead us right back. 
Let's just, okay, let's not. I was gonna say, let's just look around for treasure. But I realized that would be a little bit stupid. At least I didn't blow my ass up at that time. It almost happened. Cool. Yeah, we can head back from here. Uh oh. Okay. Uh, we might be in trouble here. We might not be. Okay. That was very lucky positioning. Okay, cool. Let's just head back. Our MP is all filled up. And we should be able to progress here. I was also able to buy three. Shit. Fresh spices. And speaking of, I'm gonna quickly check with this merchant. Whether he doesn't sell them eat as well. Uh, maybe for cheaper. I'm almost 100% sure he doesn't, but we gotta check. Yeah, he doesn't. Cool. No worries. No worries. So we really got one more section to push through, which is like this back end of the level. And this is the farthest we're going to be from the Nexus warp point, so... I really gotta, like, manage how I use these six spices. Look at these. Oh, come on. That counts as having its shield up. Cool. So, yeah, we really gotta be smart with how we use the spice. Luckily, I'm back to six, which is what we started with. So, we should be okay in general. Especially of the dragon, like the dragon is going to take care of a lot of the leg work. Yeah, I don't count this as a melee attack. I do not. Listen, if these boulders were secured so badly that you can break them by hitting it with like this fucking Harry Potter's wand, uh, they pretty much died of their own fault, I would say. Like, I, I can't be responsible for that shit. That was a work accident. A negligent work accident. That's all I can say. I mean, these fools, they didn't do a good job, did they? I just gotta... Let's, let's just get back to this. I mean, look at how Harry Potter this wand is. It's unbelievable. Like, the catalyst... is, like, way different in Dark Souls, for example. A really Hogwarts graduate up in here. Question is, should I use Water Whale for this? Like, this is one of the parts where Water Whale would probably be useful. The question is, would it actually do anything? Where the shit is that dragon? Come on. Flame these motherfuckers. Come on, do it, yes. That is going to be a lot of souls. Ha, idiots, idiots. Yeah, how about we don't risk water rail against that fire? I mean, that's like some Game of Thrones dragon shit. Like, anime sweat ain't gonna protect you from that. I'm almost 100% sure. We'll try when there is nothing on the line. Not that there is much on the line, but you know, I'm just talking about level progression here. This should be an interesting boss, like... I feel like it's going to be a real MP waster, because of all the blobs you gotta kill.
think we're gonna have to ignore some of these guys. Shit. That was a bad idea. Okay, redo. It's rewind time. What the hell? No, 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 no. Oh, fuck. Gotta be real careful of that. Hey. Sex number. Did I just waste a fucking late moon grass? I think I just did. Man, I gotta manage my toolbar a little bit better. Okay, so if th that does 69 damage from the front. If I get around the shield, it should basically one-shot it. Ah, oh, no. Still does 69. Seriously? But with the melee weapons, there's that mechanic where... Oh, okay. Maybe it's just a hitbox thing. I was getting really worried there for a second. Because if I have to use two fireballs per blob, we are never getting to the end of Phalanx. I swear. I mean, that's not entirely true because we have plenty of resources, but... You know, I don't want to, like, waste everything. Alright, let's get the show on the road. I'm really curious how this is going to go. Because normally this boss fight is easy as shit. How did I get the extra that Weird. So weird. I don't know how I got... Maybe I got a counter... I'm not sure if magic spells have counters in the game. Okay, we may need to like find a gap here. Ah, oh, come on. That's like some bullshit level protection. Okay. If we can find the gap like that, we may be able to like skirt by. There's a lot of these things. Let's check which angle is like the most open. Right here, probably. Lock on, please cooperate. Thank you. Oh, that is some bullshit ass hitboxes. What the hell? Demon Souls. You are stoned. Shit, we might be in trouble here. Like, legit. Uh, hold on. Inventory management. Ignore me. Thank you. Do I seriously have to use this thing? Pop it. Come on, get to spamming. I'm gonna use this to kill as many of these blobs as I can. The ones that are like concentrated on phalanx, it's phalanx itself. Am I hitting it? I think I'm hitting it. Come on. That... These hitboxes... What? These are some stoned-ass hitboxes. I swear to you, what the hell? What the hell? I've never, like, done this, as in killed phalanx magic only. That seems like some bullshit, if I'm gonna be honest with you. Let's hope that this is the hardest boss in the game. Okay, maybe I need to get close. Man, that is fogged up. Okay, we only need like three more hits, but we also gotta watch our HP. This can like really screw you over actually, if I'm thinking about it. Like if I die to this thing, it's gonna be messed up because now I'll be out of resources and out of everything. It is not the this is not the go-to tactic. I was doing better before. Come on. Two more should do it. Two more should do it. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes, it's dead, right? It's dead. I think it is. Whew. 
That was way more of a struggle than I thought it would be. Cool, 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 cool. All right, let's get over the excitement and head back to the Nexus. Which means it's monumental time. Uh, here's what I'm gonna do. That's pretty boring. So I'll do most of the monumental stuff off screen. I'll leave in little bits and we can start the next episode. I feel like she's pointing the wrong way. Uh, we can start off the episode next time uh, with leveling and with, hopefully, 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 yes, the guy's here. Cool. So I'll wrap it up here and we'll pick it up from here next time. Peace out.